All right, Ryan, uh, thank you very much for joining us, Jay and Chris from the B-Team 102.1 The Edge. Um, brand new album from Mother Mother, Inside. There's s- s- tracks with such big energy, uh, like I Got Love, a single. Let's talk about that first. I Got Love, we play it all the time on The Edge. It brings you about such joy. Where did that song come from? You know, it was one of those songs where you pick up the guitar and it felt like the song was just kind of hiding in the guitar and waiting for someone to help it out. Like I didn't yeah. really think about it when I wrote it. It just cool. appeared. And um, I was in my apartment. I wrote a lot of the songs in my apartment during 2020, just, you know, kind of naturally the stay at home orders. Yeah. And um, I would sing so loud. And this p- song in particular, I got quite lost in. And my neighbor, um, you know, bless him, was very tolerant. Um, yeah. When I was writing, I got love. I, I got the text from the neighbor and I was like, oh, no, he's shutting me down. And but then I read the text. and He said, yeah, I love the new song that you're working on. Like, keep going, man. Oh, hell like, yeah. All right. Wow. That's a good sign of like he's catching a good vibe through the walls. Now, this year has been so big or last year has been so big for you guys as you've had this new level of success happen via TikTok. Can you tell us about where you were when you found out that you guys have become international superstars <laughs> via this new app? That's a bit hyperbolic, but um, yeah, things certainly did change. And, you know, we noticed that our streams were going up and our YouTube hits were going up and it didn't really make sense because we hadn't released new music. So we yeah. traced it back to this app called TikTok that I didn't really know anything about. And I was urged to start an account and go on the app and, and take a look around. And I did that in about August of last year. And I guess that was kind of the moment where I really understood that, wow, something is happening because there were just so many videos, thousands of videos of young people in their bedrooms just jamming out to music from the band that was made 10 years ago. And it was like, okay, wow, this is, this is a thing. And um, shocked, delighted, awestruck, surprised, grateful, I think, more than anything. Wow. Um, One of the songs that blew up um, on TikTok was the song Hayloft. And when I first heard that song, I immediately fell in love with it. But the style was so completely different from what I heard from Mother Mother before. How are you guys able to change the style of your songs, yet still just keep producing these bangers? You know, I guess it's just like you're a person and you just wake up every day and over time you change and you look back and go, wow, I'm so different than five years ago. I had these ideas. I had this personality, you know, and it's like that with music. I think the way your music changes reflects how you change as a person. And um, such is the case, I think, for for this band and probably for so many. Let's talk about Inside. I I love the album because there's... There's so much joy and there's also like places of darkness and kind of reflection. How do you achieve such extremes while putting together a solid piece of art? I guess you, you live in an extreme moment such as a pandemic and you write music from that space, which is what happened. I wanted to, to honor the moment in time by doing work on myself because I was fortunate and privileged enough to have space and have resources just to be at home and try to become a better person um, during 2020. And I wanted the music that I was writing to reflect that journey. And part of you know reaching the light is wading through the darkness and uncovering stuff within you that has been suppressed, repressed, and buried and, you know, scrapping with your demons, slaying some dragons, um, all that kind of stuff. So that was my year. And it was important that the music um, chronicled that journey because I wanted to make a meaningful album that was pertinent to the times, but also personal and human. So you're, uh, you know, to support inside this great album, you're about to, uh, embark on this gigantic tour that's going to take you guys all over the world. It must be such a transition. Uh, what's your mindset going into the tour? I mean, like today, my mindset is like, okay, I need to make guitar patches. I need to book the rehearsal schedule for the next three months. We need to get into a room, 
blow off the cobwebs and really dial in on 90 minutes of killer music. Um, that's kind of where I'm at. It's very pragmatic. It's like, let's get the job done and, and be rehearsed. But yeah. then if I can indulge myself in like looking ahead to what that experience is going to be like, it's very exciting because I don't think that anybody really understands just how joyous and uniting and vibrant the concert experience is going to be after a pandemic has leveled out and people feel safe again. Like that's going to be a party. Hell yeah. Oh man. The eu euphoria. I think about it myself, like going to any show right now, it doesn't matter. I don't even have to like the band. I just want to see somebody with a guitar again that yeah. I can lose my, uh, lose my shit over. Right. Like it's, it's must be such a great place to be as a performer about to go into that space. You recently dropped a new video for sick of the silent and watching old watching music videos just reminds me of like the old times where I would run home from high school, <laughs> yeah. get on the couch and watch all of the new music videos. And you guys nailed this video. It felt exactly like I was just hanging back and uh, cool. watching it after school again. And I can't wait for you guys to release more. Oh, thanks, man. That's that's a great review. I appreciate that. Uh, you can learn more about where Mother Mother and Ryan are going to be. Go to MotherMotherSite.com. Inside, uh, the new album from the band is out right now. It's tremendous. Ryan, thank you so much for joining us here. Thanks for all your support. Have an awesome day. Take hey, care. Bro.